Obviously you've clicked on this video because you want to know about the shticky. Well, you're not the only one. I've received a ton of requests to do my very own awesome official shticky review. So I finally broke down and bought one. Here it is. Let's see what happens. First thing I'm going to do, unbox this bad boy. All right. So I've unboxed it. I've taken off the plastic wrap. Let's check them out. The regular sized sticky, the sticky, feels quite sticky. Kind of feels like silly putty. Then we have the little sticky, which you know is something you would probably keep in your purse. My concern about this is that, I mean, the build quality is not fabulous. The big sticky comes with a carpet brush attachment and a telescoping wand. All right, so the build quality to me feels very similar to something I would pick up, like a value brand at a big box store. It doesn't really feel like it's top quality. I've used very expensive tools similar to these, and I've used very cheap tools similar to these. These ones would, to me, they feel like they're more midline to low line quality. What I decided to do just to put the sticky to the ultimate test is pick up the exact same items that Vince used in the sticky commercial to see if it really does work. So I have some cereal, I have some potpourri, I have a cat, as you all know, and I'll give you a real idea of how the sticky works. So let me stick it to you right now. I took the sticky under my couch. There was cat hair and some other debris. As you can see, it's doing a fine job. That was its maiden voyage, right out of the package. Off to the sink to see how quickly we can clean the debris off this sticky. Unfortunately, it's not coming clean as quickly as the commercial made it seem. It took me about three minutes to get this sticky ready for the next job. Taken straight from the commercial, I'll sprinkle cereal on the floor. And it makes even a worse mess. Of course, I couldn't get it all off the floor because I had to run to the sink. And for some reason, the cereal was really difficult to get off the sticky. And of course, I had to pick cat hair off the sticky too. And now I have a bunch of stuff in my sink trap that I need to rinse out before I go back to cleaning the next thing. In Vince's words, the sticky is great for grown ear pussy. Here is some kitty litter on the floor and at the beginning it works, but as you can see, one of the major flaws. Once you've used the surface area of the sticky, it then becomes completely useless. Even Molly disapproves. And then it's back to the sink for more cleaning and there's still kitty litter on my floor. Good times, good times. Is a penny sticky a penny earned? This is ridiculous, but I had to try it. The sticky failed, hardcore. In fact, we cut out the footage, but the pennies kept falling off the sticky on our way over to the sink to wash them off. Then when we actually got there, the stupid pennies wouldn't come off the sticky. It's just easier to pick it up by hand. Now using the regular sticky in the commercial, we see someone cleaning up spices from a cupboard. However, I ask you, what is wrong with using a simple paper towel in your hand to perform the task in one third of the time? Doing it this way precludes you from taking yet another trip to the sink to clean your sticky. Crumbs on the sofa? This should work, right? Not really. But hey, it did grind crumbs into my new couch. Yes! Back to the sink. Potpourri. Please excuse my face in this shop, but I absolutely hate potpourri. My face also indicates my level of disdain with the sticky's performance on this task. My reward? Allergy attacks and another trip to the sink. Okay, the sticky sucks. I had to spend more time rinsing and drying the sticky than I did cleaning anything up. And when I did clean something up, the sticky didn't even work all that well. And here's why. Not only did it decrease in efficacy the second I started using it, it didn't even pick everything up because once it's gone through one revolution and mucked up the surface, you can't pick anything else up. So you have to keep running back to your sink, drying it off, and then running back to the dirty area. What a waste of time. Why would I use a sticky to clean up kitty litter on a tile floor if I could use a broom, which I already have? Or why would I use it to clean up cat hair on upholstery if I already have a vacuum? Or potpourri on a carpet, vacuum. Or stuff on your shirt, lint roller, 
And guess what? You're not saving any money by using the sticky. You already have all those items anyway. Let me tell you the prices because I watched the commercial with pen in hand and I got everything down here. So it's $19.95 plus shipping and handling. That would be $7.95 if you're in the US and $9.95 if you're in Canada. Then if you want the big sticky, it's an extra $5.95, which is the cost of process and handling for it, which comes to $33.85 US or $35.85 Canadian without even paying taxes. So guess what? $40. I tried to give you the most honest review of the sticky. I wanted to give you the experience you would have if you got the sticky at your door and opened up the box and started to try it on some of the things that Vince showed us in the commercials. Honestly, I wasn't impressed, so I just wanted to share that with you. If I loved it, I would have been very honest and told you to go out and get it. But I really think anything that you saw in the commercial could be taken care of by tools and products that you already have at home. So what do you think? If you have the sticky, drop us a comment. Let us know what you think. Has your experience been different than mine? Or if you saw this video and you're about to make a purchase decision, do I or do I not get the sticky? Have I convinced you? What do you think? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more product reviews and more answers to your cleaning questions, hit the button above to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.